Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Mathways, All Time Maths. Today we will learn how to find roots of quadratic equation or how to find the solution for quadratic equations. So before that don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, like and share and help me to reach to the wider audience and help my channel to grow. Let's learn how to find roots of quadratic equation. We know that a quadratic equation can be written as ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. First, we have to find discriminant which is b square minus 4ac. Now, there are certain conditions which will tell us that a quadratic equation has roots or not. So, let's discuss about those certain conditions one by one. If b square minus 4ac is equals to 0 then we can say the equation has two equal roots for example x square minus 8x plus 16 is equals to 0. Now when we will compare this quadratic equation with ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 then a is equals to 1 because here x square means 1x square and a is equals to 1 then bx means minus 8x that means b is equals to minus 8 then c means plus 16 that means c is equals to 16. Now we have to calculate what is the value of b square minus 4ac. So we will substitute the values here. In place of b, we write on minus 8 square minus 4. a is 1 and c is 16. Minus 8 square means minus 8 into minus 8, which is equals to minus into minus is plus 8 into 8 is 64. So in place of minus 8 square, we'll write on 64 minus 4 into 1 is 4, 4 into 16 is 64. That means it is equals to 0. Since I said b square minus 4ac is equals to 0, then we have two equal roots. Now how to calculate the roots? To calculate the roots, we will use the formula which says x is equals to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a. You have to remember this formula. Now we will substitute the values here. x is equals to minus minus 8. Since the value of b is negative, so we always need to put the bracket if we have a negative sign and the negative number together. Plus minus root 0 over 2 into 1. So we'll get x is equals to minus into minus is 8 plus minus root 0 means 0 over 2. So if I have to write down what are the values of x, so we can write it as x is equals to 8 plus 0 over 2 or x is equals to 8 minus 0 over 2. So 8 plus 0 over 2 means 8 by 2 which is equals to 4. And h minus 0 means 8 over 2, which is also equals to 4. So what we are getting here, we are getting here two equal roots. That's the meaning of two equal roots in this particular rule. So if we have b square minus 4ac is equals to 0, then we will always get the equal roots, same value. Now let's move to the next rule. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then the equation has two different roots let's take an example of quadratic equation 2x square minus 6x plus 3 is equals to 0 if i will compare this equation with ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 the value of a is 2 the value of b is minus 6 and the value of c is equals to 3. So if I'll calculate b square minus 4ac, 
then it will be equals to in place of b square we'll write on minus 6 square minus 4 into 2 into 3 which is equals to minus 6 square means minus 6 into minus 6 minus into minus is plus 6 into 6 is 36 so we'll write on here 36 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 3 is 24 minus 24 which is equals to 12 so 12 is greater than 0 that means this particular quadratic equation has two different roots so let's find out those values now we'll write the formula x equals to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a we will substitute the values here we'll get x equals to minus minus 6 remember this point i already explained it before we always need to put the bracket if we have a negative sign and a negative number together plus minus we already calculated the value of b square minus 4ac which is equals to 12 we'll write down here 12 over 2 into now a is 2 so x will be equals to minus into minus is plus that means 6 plus minus root 12 over 4 now you can leave your answer here also and if you want to simplify you can simplify it as well now 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 so we'll write down here x is equals to 6 plus minus root 2 into 2 into 3 so now we have to find out what is the square root value of it i have already made a video how we can find out the square root of a number then do watch that video now here since we have a 2 as a pair we can write 1 outside the square root so we'll write down 2 root 3 over 4 now we can take 2 common 2 if i will take common from 6 3 will be left if i will take 2 common from 2 root 3 root 3 will be left over 4 if you don't know how to take common then you can do one thing whatever the numbers you are taking common from you can write like that 6 if you are taking 2 common from it divided by 2 2 root 3 if you are taking 2 common from it divided by 2 so you already know 6 divided by 2 if you will simplify you will get 3 if you will simplify this one you will get root 3 that's what i have written here 3 plus minus root 3 so now the x value will be we can simplify it more 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 so x is equals to 3 plus minus root 3 over 2 that means we have two different roots what are the two different roots here now we can take two common 2 if i will take common from 6 3 will be left if i will take two common from 2 root 3 root 3 will be left over 4 if you don't know how to take common then you can do one thing whatever the numbers you are taking common from you can write like that 6 if you are taking two common from it divided by 2 2 root 3 if you are taking 2 common from it divided by 2 so you already know 6 divided by 2 if you will simplify you will get 3 if you will simplify this one you will get root 3 that's what i have written here 3 plus minus root 3 so now the x value will be we can simplify it more 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 so x is equals to 3 plus minus root 3 over 2 that means we have two different roots what are the two different roots here x is equals to 3 plus root 3 over 2 or x is equals to 3 minus root 3 over 2 so you can see these two roots are not same they are different so if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then we will get two different roots for the quadratic equation now what is the third condition third condition is if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then we can say that this quadratic equation has no real roots no real roots that means no solution So let's take an example of a quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equals to 0 
Compare this equation with ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0, a is equals to 2, b is equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 5. Let's calculate the value of b square minus 4ac. b here is minus 3 square minus 4 into 2 into 5. So I'll get here minus 3 into minus 3 is 9 minus 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 5, 40. So 9 minus 40 means minus 31, which is less than 0. Now, if I have to calculate here the roots, I can use the same formula again. x is equals to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a. And if I will substitute the values here, I'll get x is equals to minus into minus 3 plus minus root negative 31 over 2 into 2. Since we cannot calculate the root value of a negative number, so we cannot solve it further. That is why we said that this equation has no solutions. So when you are working with such question, you are not going to write this down because that is for your understanding. What you will write after this, if your value of b square minus 4ac is negative, you will directly write down this equation has no real roots. So this is how you can find the solution of any quadratic equation using discriminant method. There are other methods also. I have already explained those methods in the previous videos. If you want to watch those, do watch those videos. Now, if you have already watched the full video, do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.